Okay, so I'm going to go over how to set up an automated email that will go out to your recent customer after a purchase through the through WooCommerce. Um, and you can set up for, again, either an order completed or order processing or anything like that. Customize the email in any way you want. It's good for like digital downloads and stuff like that. So um, basically, make sure you have the Shop Magic for WooCommerce plugin installed which is on the wordpress.org. So we're going to go down to the, the menu here, go to All Automations. And we will create a new automation up here. Here you're just going to put the title. You can put any title you want. It's just for your own purposes as an admin. So we'll just say, thank you. Uh, email confirmation and then you're going to choose an event when do you want this to be triggered basically um, when do you want this email to go out after the new order gets created which is immediately um, after they basically submit their order before you've processed it and before it's completed so if you want it to go out immediately after they purchase uh, even before you approve the order or ship the order, this is a great way to do it. Um, if you have it set to automatically complete, let's say it's a digital download, and you have it set to automatically complete, um, you can also choose this. But if you're just if you're concerned about it being delayed for any reason until you approve the order, uh, you could do a new order in this case. Now we've chosen that, we're going to do a new action here, and we're just going to choose send email. Um, we're going to put a description for ourselves. We're going to say just thank you, email confirmation. This doesn't go to the customer, this part. The subject will go to the customer, so we can just say thank you for your order. Um, this is already set to go to the user who just bought the, um, the item or the, who just created the order, so you can just leave it there. If you want it to go to someone else, you can also use commas. Or um, if you have a different message that you want to be sent to like a manager or something of your company, you can um, create a new one by clicking new action up here at the top. And that will create another one of these um, actions that you can either send to customer or to someone else. If we send an email, we can basically choose a different person to send that to. So let's say we want uh, a copy to go to our manager to let them know um, about something that can also do that. So that's, uh, and those, those will go out at the same time. So I'm going to remove that for now. This is where um, you can choose one of our predefined blocks if you want, or you can just write your own. And before we start customizing the email, I just want to introduce you to placeholders. These are little codes you can use that will be replaced by the information of your customer and their order. So user you can interpret as the customer, so customer name, customer first name. And so um, we're going to take, in this case, let's just take their first name and we can start crafting an email. Actually what I'm going to do right here is just use the thank you, um, thank you for your order, insert that block which will appear down below. And then you can go ahead and start formatting it. Oops. Hello, what can you do? So depending on what you're selling, I mean, obviously if you're selling a digital product, you're not going to want to keep all this language here. Um, you can remove that. You can focus on what your really what your overall message is. Uh, this will list the products that they ordered. This will list the total price, and then you can sign it with your company name. Um, now it's set up so that when a new order happens, this email will go out. If you want, you can change this and uh, create a new order. I mean, the best way to test this really actually from a full experience is to create a, a fake order check out through the WooCommerce's um, test checkout system, put your email in, and then make sure it's sending it 
uh, correctly in the way you want it. So that's it. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions.